just so dynamic On another latitude that can't stand it Yeah, I'm a rocket boy, I stay blasting off And I was never planning on landing Been working on my legacy yeah. since I've been a prodigy It's probably the dog in me, I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me no. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely And I'm at Dillon Park in Noblesville, Indiana on hole one and this is my favorite hole on the course. Now, the reason I like this hole is because from the short tee pad, and actually, I think I actually, uh, I like the short pad more, or if at the very least it makes a better hole, and I'll explain why. It's 320 feet. There's nothing to hit. Pretty routine, right? Well, it's not. You have the lake on the right. So right off the bat, you're playing with a potential out-of-bound stroke, but you're not just playing with one out-of-bound stroke because if you're right-handed throwing hyzer over the water, you're also playing with the possibility that if you throw out of bounds and it never comes in bounds, you're either reteeing or you're playing it up maybe 40 feet farther ahead, but with really bad footing, which means you are potentially adding more than one OB stroke. Uh, you have to calculate that possibility in there. It's not the possibility of a roll away. It's the possibility of multiple roll aways if you attack multiple shots, multiple OB potential. That's if you play to the right. If you play to the left, there is a tree on the left that would block just about where the sidearm should go on a natural flight. Pull a little bit to the right of the tree or cut it close to the tree. It's a pretty tricky landing area because it slopes left to right. When the disc flies this direction on landing, the more of a slope you have, the closer the slope is to matching the incoming disc, effectively the smaller the landing area you have. That means executing your shot, the circle that you're trying to land inside gets smaller and smaller and smaller geometrically. So you're factoring that into the equation plus the possibility of going into the water. And if you do go into the water, you got about a 25 foot putt if you're playing it from up there, which means you can save par from there. But you also have to factor in the fact that you might hit metal and roll back in the water, take another OB stroke, potentially more OB strokes. This makes for a good hole. You cannot just step up to the hole and attack it. I mean, there's nothing more boring than a hole where you step up and you throw at the basket. Even on a good hole, that's not as much fun as when you have decisions to make. That's what I like about this hole. So I'm gonna throw my drive. I am gonna throw a backhand over the water. I feel pretty comfortable on a 320 foot shot of getting inside 20 feet every time. But I'm gonna play with the fact that I'm coming in to a slope this direction, which does create the possibility of the disc having an uncertain landing and rolling away, even if I land safe. That's all the stuff that's going on up here. Let's see how it works out. Get in the hole and yeah I think it stopped but it could have not stopped let's go take a look so there's my shot pretty routine putt knock on wood the reason why I think that the shorter hole is actually a little bit of a better hole is there's well there's two reasons if you look straight back maybe you can't see it on video but Straight that direction is the tee pad. If you go more across the lake, you're gonna add another 30 or 40 feet of distance. On a wide open hole in a pro division, 350 or 360 is gonna be better than 320. Distance is a skill just like anything else. It's a harder throw. Any division but the pro divisions and maybe good advanced players from the long tee are just playing for three. So the decision's kind of been taken out of the equation. They're gonna throw up here, they're gonna lay their approach shot up. And so that doesn't make it as much fun as the shorter tee pad where I think everyone's kind of making a decision. Also, the trees on the left take that line out of play on the shorter hole. So, you know, all things being equal, longer is usually a better hole, but it doesn't automatically make for a better hole if it doesn't create the challenges that the short one does. Oh, and make sure you like and subscribe to the Bay Singer Disc Golf Channel uh, and the Scott Stokely Channel, and you'll get updates every time one of these favorite whole videos comes out. Paul Macbeth with the ace, yeah. Fizzle man with the face, yeah. Sexy beast.
call me Nate. Yeah. I got too much sauce on my plate. Yeah. Devin Owens with the left hand. Shout out D Money from the West, man. E Mac on the true boy. Yes, white Jesus, stay blessed, man. It's about time, ain't it, Johnny? But I can't name like everybody. Shout out Big Germ, Katrina Allen, Val Jenkins, Wysocki, Seppo Payu, Matt Dollar, Sarah Holcomb. I say, boy, stop me. Jessica Weiss, that girl is a beast. They crushing in like the